Whatever helps you to tune in to your body and your breath right now and tune out to the outer distractions, which might also be your mind. Those would be inner distractions. All right, let's start that embodiment practice. Can you begin to notice the ground that's supporting you? Maybe from your feet to the backs of your thighs, to your sit bones. And seeing if you can find that equal weight between the two or does one feel heavier? And if it does, what do you have to do to find that centered space? So we can rise up equally through both sit bones to create space through each part of your spine. The top of your head rising and then instead of letting the chin lift you up a little higher, lengthen the back of the neck and draw the chin downward. Not enough to create a double chin, but just a little down. Center grounded space, we begin to check in with our other senses. Tuning in to maybe the sounds from outside of your space, if there are any. And turning that awareness to the sounds inside your space, or maybe the absence of sound. Tune in to now the sensation of the air flowing in and out the tips of the nostrils. Can you sense the moment that it hits the nostrils, flows up the passages towards the back of the throat, and then it sends its way back out? So that awareness of following or tracking the breath through that pathway. Let's try it. maybe not next time. <laughs> Just keep breathing. But the next time we uh, bring some awareness to this breath of creating this equal length of your inhale to an equal length of your exhale. So I'm going to suggest a six count breath. If that feels too long, meaning you feel strained at the top, then cut it down by one and two. I'll take us through the first round. Full breath out. When you're ready, we start the count. Breathe in. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathing out six, five, four, three, two, one. It's a slower count. You can always speed it up a little, a little. <laughs> Let's go three more rounds on your own. After that next exhale, just letting go of the rhythm, returning to whatever feels comfortable. And just take a notice of how that made you feel. If you feel a little bit more grounded or centered or maybe none of those things, just notice. All right, before we head any farther, we're gonna set that intention for the day. You may have already set one, but bring it in at this moment. Hands can be in your lap or palms together. Pausing to decide how we might show up today towards yourself, towards those around us, or towards the planet. If the palms are not already meeting, let's bring them there. Spread out the fingers. The base of the palms is going to come down towards your belly button without the base of the palms splitting. Elbows pressing out. You've got a little bit of effort there. Okay. 
keep holding this isometric hold to warm up the shoulders. So three, two, one. We're gonna take it up towards the sky. You're gonna keep that same amount of pressure. It's gonna get a little bit lighter as we reach up. And then when you're ready, we'll get us, we're gonna separate and come down to cactus arms. So keep those fingers spread, shoulders draw back together, elbows come slowly down by your sides. Slowly painful. Hopefully not painful. <laughs> Patience. Here we go again. So the pressure is strongest down here and it gets a little bit lighter as we go up. And you're ready to send it out past this part. Last time. And keep breathing. Consciously inhaling. Exhaling as we stand down. It's almost like that six count exhale. All right, pause here. We're going to go up the opposite direction through cactus arms until the palms can meet in the center. Good practice of not looking at them while trying to line them up. Come down the center, find that pressure again. Two more. Shoulder blades are drawing back here. Palms will meet. Begin that pressure as soon as they touch. Last one. And we're gonna stay with this. I know patiently moving slowly. Us here for a five count. Press those palms together, shoulder blades broad. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, release. Clasp those hands. Start that figure eight. Just a little roll out a little bit. Okay, we're going to pause in the center and head the other direction. We're going to send the shoulder blades forward so your little wings are going to curl forward. The head's maybe drops. We're going to spin the palms forward and rise up to the sky. We'll let go of grasp onto your right wrist. Take an inhale up and an exhale over. Gaze down to the left. We're going to come back up. Palms are going to turn in the up and we're going to slowly bring them down. Back. We change the clasp of the fingers one finger over. Should feel a little bit awkward. Send the backs of the hands out and round those little wings forward. When you're ready to inhale, flip the hands, rise up slowly. We're going to grasp onto your left wrist this time. Inhale, pull it up, exhale over. Gaze. One more breath to lengthen. Exhale, we're back up. Flip those palms up and we're slowly coming down. Great. Make any little adjustments. Please start. We haven't done these in a while. Um, the, the neck range of motion or neck rolls. So we're dropping the chin down towards the chest. We're going to span along one collarbone. It doesn't matter which one. Over to one shoulder. And begin to look across the sky, so you're painting a half moon with each to the opposite shoulder, back to the chest. One more time in that same direction. These are just landmarks that I called out. You do not have to. Next time we land at the chest, you're going to pause and head the other direction. We go two times around. That inhale gets you on the way up. Your exhale as you round down. Great, we'll come back. The center, oh, our 
right. Let's take the left hand down beside you. So plant the floor, push the floor away from you. You're gonna drop that shoulder out of here. Fan that right arm up and over. I'm looking down towards the left just to give my neck a little bit of a stretch, but you could try looking up if, say you need a little bit, like you're feeling sleepy this morning. Maybe looking up might be better. One more breath, we're gonna reach through, right circle, right hand. Exhale, push the floor away from you. Take that right hand to the outside of your left thigh, and we're just into that mild to the left. We're breathing in, finding space from the space uh, between. Sorry, from the center, the collarbones out and the tips of the shoulders. And make your return back on an exhale. We'll reverse it up. So take the right hand down beside you, drop that shoulder out of the ear, and we'll start to sweep that left arm up and over. Again, I'm going to take the gaze down to the right because I did it on the other side. But if you look up last time, maybe you look up on this side. One more breath as we press the left sit bone down away from the left hand. And exhale, push the floor away from you to come back up. Take that left hand to the outside of the right thigh. And then, oh yeah, and then we're just into that rotation. I was going to do the other version. And nothing aggressive here. You might have osteoporosis or osteopenia, just a gentle turn. One more full breath in and out. All right, we'll be back in the center and we'll start to transition onto hands and knees. So quadruped. Or if you are um, remaining and standing, you know, to put your hands on that tabletop or the chair. All right, let's take the knees a little bit wide. Hands are roughly just underneath your shoulders, and we're just going to start those hip swivels. So we can start tall and small, and I'll use the analogy of the rings of Saturn. Saturn is visible in the sky these nights. My husband found it on the telescope, and it's always amazing to see those rings so far away. We can start to take it a little bit brighter and broader. Start to shore it up, so taking it a little bit smaller and a little bit taller. Smaller and a little taller until we come back to center. And then we'll head the other direction. So we'll start tall and small in those four central rings of Saturn. And then we can start to make it a little bit broader if you'd like. You don't have to. Shore it up a little bit smaller and taller. And come back to center. All right. Let's take the knees a little bit more um, narrow. Yeah, so they're about hip width apart. <laughs> Spread those fingers wide and push the floor away from you. Good. You're going to tuck the toes. We're just going to do a little warm up here for your core. So really push the floor away. Exhale, you're gonna lift the knees just about an inch or two off the floor. Some people call this the bear. <laughs> and it's kind of a downward facing dog preparatory pose. Here for three, two, one, lower all the way down. I'm gonna sink the hips back and turn my palms up as I send the hips back to puppy dog pose. If flipping the palms doesn't feel great, right, just keep them face down. Take a full breath in, let your belly expand, exhale, maybe mouth open. All right, and then 
slowly come back up. So let's get the hands out wide. We're going to do that one more time. This time for I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, okay? Press the floor away from you. Exhale. Toes are tucked. You're lifting the knees about an inch off the floor. We're just hovering. Watch for those elbows they are not tight or extended. Five, four, three, two, one. We're all the way down. We'll untuck the toes, flip the palms if that feels okay, and settle back into puppy dog pose. Full breath in, belly expands, exhale, mouth open. All right, and we're going to slowly bring ourselves back up. Let's just take a break off the wrist for me. Well, I know we just had a break, but let's do a real break. So we just give them a little shake out. We'll clasp the hands behind and open up the shoulders. One more breath. All right, if you've got your weights, we're going to bring them in now. If not, just go through the motions, but just Obviously without the weight. So if you got the weight, it's going to be in your right hand. Left hand is your reverse stabilizer. So spread those fingers wide. We're going to take the left foot back. I'm going to do this first round with the leg on the floor. We're going to come to an uh, uh, sorry a Y shape, so kind of off the corner of your front mat and back down. Flip the palm so it's facing towards the front of your mat and your thumbs in the up position. Come out to the T and then back down. Palm is now facing towards you as you bring the arm back into that I shape. We come back down. Those are our three motions. If this next time you want a different challenge by lifting the back leg, you're welcome to take that. Try to remain all of that steady and try not to collapse into your left arm or shoulder. So you're gonna press the floor away from you. Two more rounds. Feel free to drop that leg if you'd like a different challenge. All right, that was it. Come on back down. Come on into tall kneeling again. Give those arms a little shake out. And we'll take their hands back behind, change the clasp, one finger over. We got two breaths here. All right, release. I'm going to flip around just for the sake of not punching a hole in the wall, but you don't have to. Spread the fingers of your right hand this time. The left hand has your weight, or it's going to be your arm, moving arm. Right leg is back. Push the floor away from you. We're doing this first round with the leg on the floor. Come to that Y. Out to that T. And back to the I. Okay. If you'd like to transition, bringing that back leg off the floor, you're welcome to. Hips are balanced towards the floor. A little bend in that right elbow. And the movement comes from your left shoulder blade area, not just the, the arm lifting. Okay, I think this is our last round. All right, great. Come on back up. Give those wrists a little shake out. Take those hands back behind one last time. We have two breaths here. Open up the chest. A little bit of a camel pose here. All right. Let's um let's make our transition into standing. So I'm gonna have the weights handy if you're using them. Let's grab our straps to start. All 
Okay, here we go. Three way stretch, stretch. Feet are out wide, knees are soft, so not blocking them out. We got three or so times rising up. If you've got the range to go back behind, feel free. So I'm nursing my shoulder, but it's getting better. Thanks to Peloton. You're welcome to go any more, a few more if you'd like. I'm gonna stop and come up to the top. In breath, out breath, out to one side. Gaze down towards that side, you're ready to. Inhale back up, exhale over. Yeah, two more, or sorry, one more. <laughs> one more to each side. Good, bring it back at the top, release. Hands come back behind you. Fingertips facing the back wall. Open up the shoulders. Especially for this class, the Healthy Bones class, really keeping the back flat. If that's not a concern of yours, meaning you don't have osteoporosis, then you're welcome to round down. I'm going to keep that flat of back. Hands can always rest on your backside and just open up through the shoulder blades, too. What a great option. One more breath. And bring those hands closer to your backside and exhale to rise up slowly. Squeeze your glutes. Right. Woo, ready for a nap? Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna set the straps off to the side, I think. Yes, and let's grab onto your weights if you're using them. All right. Here we're gonna be about hip width apart. I'm going to spread, pick up your toes and spread them wide and set the pinkies down, drag the other toes to the center. Great. Let's see, we're going to do the egg. <laughs> Let's come down into chair pose. So you're going to bring the arms forward. And from here, we're going to row them back. So coming into almost like a little W shape. And then you're going to punch them forward again. And we're going to rise up. Okay, so that was our tester. We're going to do five more. So we sit back. Roll them back like a little W shape. Let's see, I can't get my arms equal. <laughs> Send it forward. And we rise up. Okay, four more. Okay, keep going on your own rhythm. I've got some imbalances here. <laughs> Two more. Weird. <laughs> I can't feel, but I can see it, obviously, I'm looking at the screen. Last one. There we go. Send it forward, we rise up. Whew, go ahead and roll out those shoulders. I'm gonna turn for the other version, but you don't have to. This time we're going into airplane arms. The same position of the legs. When we come down, our slide back, palms are facing forward. And then when we come up, bicep curl. Okay, so that was our tester. Five more. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Okay. Two more. Last one. All right, roll out those shoulders. This time we're gonna have be a little bit offset for almost like a single leg squat. So you're gonna take one foot in front of the other, just about that much. So it's not a big, it's not a huge long step. And make sure that your hips are still, still facing forward. Okay, we're gonna drop back into that bottom back leg and bicep curl, whoop. <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> Next time we're gonna rise up. All right, so if you haven't felt it already, that back leg is the working one. If this bothers your knees, just try to go in a, at least a little bit of a range. Two more. Good, last one. All right, release, shake out. Meet me in mountain pose, one breath. 
All right, rock to the other side. So I don't know which, I don't know if I cued a leg, but I've got my left leg forward. Just switch legs, okay? Same amount of step. We got five to go. Drop back like you're sitting back into that back leg. And then we rise up. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Exhale. Three more. Good. Last one. All right. Good. Check it out. Roll it out. Let's um, take it to the back of your mat if you're using it. Up at your space. I'm going to take the weight onto the left foot. So spread out those toes and we're going to either toe plant or lift the right. Holding one more breath. We're going to step, step that right foot forward. So maybe one or two steps. Adjust it so that your hips are still facing forward. <laughs> All right, bending into that front knee, we're going to start to hinge forward. You're going to bring your arms forward, but not so much that your shoulders curl forward. You need to keep the shoulders back. Okay, we're going to row it there and then kick those arms back. Come back in and release. So row, kick back. Bend, right knee. All right, let's go four more. Shoulders never really come forward, if that makes sense. Last one, I think. When we come back here, let's hold it. I know that front leg is screaming. You can pop out of it if you need to a little bit and then come back in. We're gonna pulse it up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, release. We're gonna step, step back onto that left leg. Push off, push off. Balance on the left leg again. Right foot is either toe planted or lifted. Palms are facing forward. Three, Two, one, we're back to the ground. Shake off the knee and pose. One breath, palms are forward, thighs are pressing outward. All right. I'm just gonna flip around, but you don't need to. You can stay right where you are. We're balancing on that right leg this time. So plan or lift the left. One more breath. We're going to step, step forward with that left foot. Let's give myself too much space here. Here we go. Hips are facing forward. We're going to hinge forward to that nice long line from the back heel. Arms come forward, but the shoulders don't. Yeah? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was doing another move there. Let's row it. Triceps kick back. Bend. Straighten. All right, that was our tester. We got five more. At any time that front knee needs a little break, just give it, give it to it. Straighten it up. And we got two more here. Move at your own pace. Is that it? <laughs> so next time, let's hold it there. You can straighten that front leg just for a little reprieve and then head back in. We're going to pulse it up. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Release. We're going to step, step back onto that right leg. Push off, push off. Balancing on that right leg again. Either toe plant or lift the left. Palms are facing forward. Stand for here for three, two, one, three, All right. Meet me a mountain. Let's get a mountain in there. Palms are facing forward, thighs are pressing outward. All 
way. I'm going to set the weights down for a moment. We're going to have an active rest, just a little break from those weights. So give our hands a, a break and a shake out. Let's go to our eagle pose. So I've got a block. You don't have to have one, but if you do, and I've got a wall behind me. So normally in class, we do this with the wall behind us. But if you don't have it, you can do it freestanding. All right. I have the block on the outside of my left foot. I'm going to cross the right one over, bend the left knee. The right leg has to come all the way over so that left knee comes into that little crook. Let your eagle arms fly away. And we're going to cross the left arm over the right. Maybe bend those elbows. And the palms or the backs of the hands or the palms if you got it. And if none of that is available, do a crossover like so. All right. You can stay up high. That's plenty of challenge. You want a different challenge, you're starting to sink a little lower. Eyes are gently pressing into each other. Arms are pressing into each other. Just enough effort. Don't let your jaw take over. Press those legs for five, four, three, two, one. Re rise, release. What are your eagle wings? <laughs> All right, if you uh, use the block, let's switch it over or you have some surface down there that you're using. All right, here we go, other side. Press the left leg over. Snug those legs together and bend into the right. Eagle arms. Flutter them across, cross your, let's see, right over left. And your palms come, backs of the hands or do this lovely version and you get a nice big stretch there too. Wherever you are, arms are hugging in, thighs are hugging in. Back of the neck is long and you're breathing. You can focus on your breath and let it be away from your right thigh. Okay, you got this for five, four, Three, two, one. Re release. Let your eagle arms flutter. <sighs> Maybe a mountain one breath. Uh, let's do that. Pop our feet together version. So bring your feet together. A little bit of balance here, palms out. And this is actually the traditional mountain pose. Actually, palms are probably together, but. So I usually have it with feet apart so we can work those outer hip muscles, but feet together is traditional. All right, and then get the block out of the way. We're going to grab our weights, if you're using them. And uh, we're going to come into our goddess pose legs. So I show that from the side just so you have that visual of back flat. Your tailbone can be tucked under a little so you're not completely arching. Um, but you're sitting back and then forward. There we go. Toes are out a little bit, heels are in. We're gonna punch it across. So we bring it to the center. Exhale, punch across, inhale back. Exhale, punch across, inhale back. Just nine more, keep going on your own rhythm. Exhale, inhale. A little break ever, you just straighten them up and then head back in. This is halfway there. We got this. We're on eight already. Last one. All right, re release. Rock those hips side to side. Been with me on these Tuesdays. We know the uppercut is coming next. And then I have a little addition to add after that. All right, here we go. Settle back in. This time it's an inhale as we uppercut across and then an exhale right back by your side. So inhale, 
Exhale, three, just nine more. Keep moving on your own rhythm. These always keep me up the most. It's these quick breaths. And the power that comes with it with your arms and your legs. We're halfway there. Here we are, we're on eight, it's two more, here we go. Oh, nice. Good, straighten those legs, rock those hips out, roll the shoulders if you like. All right, here's the option to hold on to one weight or two. I'm gonna kind of bring them in, these are small enough where you can kind of do that. And you're gonna hold it in the center to make it comfortable, and if you can't do it comfortably with two, just let go of one. Don't drop it, just set it down. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna come in the center. Elbows are out a little bit. We're gonna come into that goddess pose and we're gonna do little pulses. So you're gonna pulse down and then back up, but not all the way up and then back down. Let's see, inhale down, exhale up. Just bother your knees, just at least do a little bit of range. I lost count, let's do three more. <laughs> Last one, let's hold it here, down at the bottom. I know, keep smiling. Try your shoulders out of your ears. We're just here for five, four, three, Two, one, exhale, rise, release. Ah. You walk those hips back in, give a little shake out. Ah, mountain pose, one full breath. All right, let's see where we are. Uh, let me do one, balance one. So I'm gonna bring the blocks in front. We're gonna keep your weights if you have them. They're a little wider than your hips and shoulder for shoulder width apart. <laughs> okay. We're going to take your right foot forward, left foot back. As you bend into that front knee, you're going to tap down. So this will be our first move. It's just that hinge forward and then rise back up. We're just going to do five of those and then we'll attempt to balance here. Come back up, shoulder blades come back together. Hinge and tap. I think this is the last one through the movement. We'll meet back at the top. Okay, you have the option to just hold that downward position, or if you like, get your balance on your right foot and start to bring that left leg back and up. That's like warrior a little bit close to those blocks. You want the hands right under your shoulders. If this is just not happening today, just take that leg back down. You'll still get some strengthening going on with that right leg. Steady breath here. As light as you can be on those hands. That left one's gonna get a little more weight. For three, two, one, bend the standing leg, bring the other one down to me that we can do a forward fold here. Use your blocks or your thighs. For those that have osteoporosis, please just keep a flat back. All right, we'll bend those knees. Pull those weights if you got them, we're gonna exhale, rise up slowly. Whew. I that I am warm. <laughs> All right, let's take the left foot forward, the right leg back. Hips are more or less square to the front. We're gonna do those five hinge forwards, tap down. Hinge forward, tap down. Right back up, inhale, open up the shoulders. Okay, four more. Two more. 
going to meet up, meet up at the top. All right. I'm going to back my foot just a little bit away from those blocks so that when I come forward, they're right under my shoulders. So whenever you're ready, we're hinging forward. You can tap down and either just keep that foot there or practice, you know, to, to lifting and then dropping it back down or lift completely if you feel sitting that. Like as you can be on those hands. Again, you can always practice just keeping the front knee bent and toe tapping and lifting. Relax your jaw. What's happening at your shoulders? Hold it for three, two, one. And then that standing leg, bring the other one down to meet it in the front. We'll fold it forward if you like. We can drop our weights to the floor so we can take it go. Oh, last breath here. You ready? Bend those knees, exhale, we're rising up slowly. All right. Nice work. We're going to make our transition Ooh, lightheaded onto the belly. So if you'd like an extra blanket or pillow under your belly for comfort. And the weights will be around, if you'd like to use them, they're going to be around halfway down your mat. Let's start out in six pose. I'm going to turn around. Pose. Elbows are right under your shoulders. Palms are spread out. Turn the legs out a little bit wide. We're going to press the palms down to the ground and lift the shoulders. Draw them back and down. And then we do three pulses where we try to pull ourselves forward, but we're not going to go anywhere. Gonna try to pull yourself forward along the mat and then release. Pull and release. Last one. Pull and release. Let's press here. Let's bring the palms so that they're now up. Same position, sinks pose, but the palms are up. And you're just going to push down to the floor. Relax your butt and push for three. Two, one, let's take a rest all the way down just for a breath or two. Rock the hips, if that feels nice for your back. Before I get too comfy, let's move on. Um, let's go right to, to weights, and you can always do any of these without the weights. You can go with the palms facing down. Gaze is down, we're going to lift the shoulders, lift the arms, we're going to keep the feet down though. Just relax your foot. Shoulder blades are back as though you've got that strap in your hands. If you feel like your shoulders want to curl forward, maybe just drop the weights or reset yourself again. Here for one more full breath in and out. All right, lower those weights, rock the head with you inside, let those hips rock out. All right, we're going to go all limbs lifted this time. You can always head back to Sphinx or this previous one that we just did. Arms and hand down. Lift the shoulders, draw them back together before you lift those weights or arms. And then this time lift the legs. Everything's kind of shooting off towards the back wall on your crown of your head, towards the wall in front of you. Set those shoulders back and down. Two, one, lower everything. Rock your head to one side, rock those hips. Let's sit 
uh, arms down by your side. You can let go of the weights. Bring the arms up by your head. Bring the legs in a little bit more now. Tuck those toes. We're going to add some rise back up. That we are going to child's pose. Kidding, you can go there if you want. <laughs> We're going to tuck those toes. We're going to head right back into that bear hover lift that we did in the very beginning. I know I'm asking a lot of your tired shoulders. Keep pressing. Great one for your core from here. We're going to rise back into downward dog. So I know it's going to be short, so you're going to have to walk either your fans forward or your feet back when you come back into downward dog. Ah. This might be a rest or not. Give it all you got, though. You rock side to side. You can bend or straighten one leg and the other. We're going to child's next or puppy dog. So if you'd like to take that now, give it a go. I'm going to stay for one more breath here. All right, eventually we'll lower down. Find your rest pose, child, puppy dog, or kneeling. Ah, good job. Start to make that transition slowly up and onto your back. Yes, onto your back. <laughs> One last little cool thing. I'm going to bring the blocks in, but not the blocks, the weights. So if you want the weights, we're going to do a little bit more. I promise we're almost there. You're going to place the weights on to the belly area. So if that's at all uncomfortable, you can stand a little there. You can, I'm going to use both weights, about six pounds on there. You can always go with one. Feet about hip width apart. Nothing should be pinching at your low neck. Okay, we're going to head into bridge. So we're just going to keep a light hand on those weights just so we don't roll up the hip head on my face. <laughs> but the elbows stay down. So inhale up, exhale down. Five, in up. Two more. Last one, we're going to hold it up there. Keep breathing, let those weights kind of be your feedback to the way you breathe. Back from there. Relax your jaw, last breath. I know your glutes and legs are getting it today. All right, we're all the way down. Great job. You can take those weights off your belly. Yay, don't you feel lighter? Press knees to your chest. <sighs> we're just going to give it a rest. Let's go into a um, thread the needle on your back, and then we'll have a little replay time. So, cross, uh, maybe let's go right ankle over left thigh. Bring that thigh towards you. Why you can stretch that left leg up and do a little point and flex or ankle circles. I mean, it's to you, your left leg is doing a little bit of work. <laughs> Those quads. All right, reach that heel to the sky. Inhale. Let the knee bend. Exhale. We're here for just two more breaths. Relax those, relax those shoulders. If you're ready to exit up, we'll set that foot back down, uncross. We're going to recross the so left leg over the top. Bring that right leg towards you. Straighten that right leg towards the sky. And we'll point the weight. Here. Full ankle circle. If you can get your whole foot into it, so not just kind of going through it, sorry, just up, going through it. Toes into it. As they come around, spread out. Together, both directions. 
Right, reach that heel to the sky, one breath. On your out breath, release the knee or yeah, the ankle. We're here for two breaths, just for that hip. back to about 30 seconds for free play time. If there's something else your body wants to do, you want to get up on that block and the sky or you mentioned my birds or butterflies. Just a big long stretch. Always keep moving. That might be your version. Ready to find your back in the Again, these online versions, it's only two minutes or so. And I'll say you're going to lay down for two minutes during this day. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then there's some of you are, which is great. Some maybe more of a conscious laying down. <laughs> so that you're having, you know, that little sort of pillow under your knees, you're laying out flat or something underneath your legs, chair, couch, or the wall, legs on the wall. I'm going to stay seated as always. Sinking muscles, smoothing out the skin of the forehead, space between the eyebrows, eyes are heavy, head is deep. joint to the jaw, just releases, sinks downward, space between the teeth, shoulder blades just in a little heavier, the space below you, behind you. It's going to be your anchor that will bring you back every time your mind starts to wander. The belly rising and falling, the air and in and out the nasal passages. And you've got a bird outside. So these few moments, you've got nowhere to be, nothing to do. Time and space is yours.
breath becoming a bit more conscious, a bit deeper as you fill the belly space, fill the middle word space, fill the heart space. And on your exhale, reverse that awareness as you slowly take it all the way back and out. And even a little bit if you haven't already, most people are probably already moving. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes, roll the wrists or ankles, drop the hips in and out, and the head back and forth. Maybe a cat stretch or a dog stretch before bringing the knees to the chest. Bring yourself on your side, pausing to recall your intention wherever you are in your transition. How are you going to show up today? As you make your way to sitting, take your time. You can always stay laying down on it. You never know where you are. This week's mudra is Trishala Mudra, which is the trident. Um, but to balance this sixth chakra, your wisdom eye, your clarity mind. See what happens. <laughs> All right, the pinky is going to come in towards the base of the thumb, and the thumb is going to cover the pinky. The other finger stretch out, so you've got that trident. Yes, look something like that. And then the hands, the backs of the hands, rest down. If that feels at all uncomfortable, just find something similar or completely different. Eyes are going to be open or closed, your choice, whatever helps you to tune in right now. Breathing in and out, we got two breaths through both nostrils. Next time you breathe in, see if you can breathe awareness into just the right nostril. Right side nostril, right side body, in and out. Transition that away from the right nostril to the left side nostril awareness. Breathing in and out, left side nostril. Left side nostril, breathing in through both nostrils two times. Just letting go of that mudra. Let's get this a little more clear, <laughs> more wise. Oh, if only it was that easy. All right, let's bring the palms to finish in gratitude hands, whether it be palms together, or head dry, which is one hand, right hand over the heart, left hand over the back into a place within you, way to recognize gratitude. What's one more thing in your life to be grateful for in this moment? Just as long, we'll send it out. Offer a gratitude beyond the walls that you're in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Palms coming together, holding on to that gratitude real close, at least for the rest of the day. All at once to seal the deal. Please join in if you'd like. Hopefully, you're practicing your voices when you're not around other people. <laughs> Pull our slow breath in, slow breath out, slow breath in to all. Breathe in, breathe out. Namaste. Spirit of me, I'm just spirit of me to everyone of you. Thank you so much for being here. Peace in. Okay.